Okay, if the white man forced this Bible on us, if the white man forced this Bible on us, why is everybody in this book black? Sis, did you understand that? Did you know that? I'm trying to get understanding. You didn't know that? Let's read. Let's give me Genesis 2 and 7. Let's get some understanding. Let's get some understanding out. Let's get some understanding out. How you doing, listen? You all right? You good? All right, all praises. Let's read this. Genesis chapter 2 verse 7. And the Lord God for man out of the dust of the ground. So sis, the Lord God for a man out of the dust of the ground. Quick question. What color is the dust of the ground? Brown. Brown, right? Yeah. Read. For a man of the dust of the ground and breathe into his nostrils the breath of life. So God created man himself from this dark stuff. So where do we get that this is a white man's book? But we're gonna proceed on to read. We're gonna get some more for you. Give me some more. Uh, give me some more. Give me uh, Job. Give me the one in Job. We're gonna, we're gonna read a couple of scriptures proving that this book is a black man's and a black woman's book. Hispanic man and Hispanic woman's book. We're gonna prove it. You know what I'm saying? Read, watch this. Job 30, verse 30. Bring it My out. skin is black upon me. What did Job say? My skin is black upon me. His skin is black upon him. Job. It's not white upon him. It's black upon him. Understand that. We're going to continue to read. We're going to get more to show you that everything that you've been taught has been lies. Every church you went to, what you see on the walls, you see pictures of white images. That's that's by design. Watch this. Read that. Songs of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. I am black. What did King Solomon say? I am black. Read verse 1. Songs of Solomon 101. The Songs of Songs, which is Solomon. So the Song of Songs, which is Solomon's. So Solomon wrote this song. Read verse 5. Verse 5. I am black, but comely. King Solomon, the wisest king that ever lived, said, I am black, but beautiful. That's what comely means. Comely means beautiful. I am black and beautiful. This is what a, King Solomon, very famous in the scriptures, that's always been portrayed as a white man. Yeah. Always. Listen, we not hating. We just want truth. You understand what I'm saying, sis? We got to have truth. Yeah. What about Jesus? What about Jesus? Is Jesus white? No. No. Watch this. Revelation chapter 1, verse 1. Bring it up. Revelation of Jesus Christ. Revelations mean to reveal. The revealing of Jesus Christ. Read. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. So he about to show him something that's got must come to pass in the spirit. Read. Verse 14. Verse 14. His head and his purse were white like wool. So Christ, the king of all kings, his head and his hairs, and many his beard, were white and woolly. Who got woolly hair? Read out. Us. Us. We do. Wool, wool, yeah. wool. Woolly hair. We got to own that thing, though. We got to own that thing. That's an identifier as well. That's how I know you, Israel. Because a lot of us, we got woolly hair. But we've been told it's nappy hair. Right. We've been told it's uh, damaged hair, right. bad hair. In order to have good hair, you got to have that straight uh, yeah. silky stuff. What they like to call it silky, but I just like to call it uh, stringy. That's what we got to have. Christ had woolly hair. What about God? What about God? Oh, oh. I'm about to go into something that you probably didn't know. What God? Let's go into a feature of the Most High God himself. Right. The Father of Jesus, the Christ. Watch this. Read that. Daniel chapter 7, verse 9. Bring it out. I beheld till the thrones were cast out. He beheld till what? The thrones were cast out. Read. And the Ancient of Days did sit. The Ancient of Days. Who's older than days? God. He created days. Oh, yeah. The Ancient of Days. The Most High God is the Ancient of Days. Read. Whose garment was wet as snow? Whose what? Whose garment was wet as snow? Whose garment was what? White as snow. So that means God has a garment. God has a garment, read. And the hair of his head, like the pure wool. The what? And the hair of his head, like the pure wool. So God has hair. And what kind of hair is that? Woolly hair. Yes, Who are people on this planet got woolly hair? Break it up. Who? We do. 
Every picture you ever seen has been of a white man. Yes, they have. All the angels white. Yes. Why? Why do? Why lie? Right. Why give us a wrong example? Mm -hmm. Because I tell you why. Because the people who the Jews? Who are the Jews? Who the Jews? The white people. Well, see? See that? That's why. They want you to think the chosen people of God are white. Which is wrong. Give me that, uh, uh, uh the jewel. What is that? You know what I want. Because we got to explain it. We got to go into it. We got to show you why, show you the lies that was taught to us. Watch this. Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2. Bring it up. Judah Mormon. Who? Judah Mormon. Judah. You know what Ju uh, You know what Judah is short for? Jew. They shortened up the word Judah by saying Jew. So Judah is a, if we look on the sign, where you find Judah? It's at the top. And what's next to it? American black. Okay, so that's, Judah is a tribe of Israel. So the American blacks, that is us. We're the Jews. But read on. Judah mourneth and the gates thereof language. And the gates thereof language, meaning the leaders are weak. Weak. They are black. They are what? They are black uh -huh. unto the ground. They are black like the ground. Jews, the Jews are. The Jews are black to the ground. So when did they become white? When did they become white? Let's go, let's go to uh, Revelations. Revelations 2 and 9. Right. Hey, right. hey, uh, I like him, I like him. Cut that out, let's go. Read that. Revelation chapter 2 verse 9. I know thy works and tribulation. God says, Christ says, I know your works. I know your tribulation. He's talking to us. Read. And poverty. And he knows that we're poverty. We're in poverty. We're not rich. We're the poor of the planet. Can you agree with that? Yes. Yes. Read. I know that one. Um, but, but wait. Are the Jews poor? No. Heck he no. They own the, the diamond industry. Yeah. They own the record industry. They own the movie industry. Right. They're not a poor people. Right. So it can't be them already. But we're going to read on. Watch this. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty. Read. But thou art rich. But he said we are rich anyway, though. Why? Why is that? Why are we rich? Because we're real. Because we're real. I like that. But give me that in, uh, what's that? Romans 11, 33. Give me that. We're about to see why. He said we are, he knows our tribulation and poverty. But at the same time, we're rich. At the same time, we're rich. Let's find out how. Let's find out how. Read that. Revelation chapter 3, verse. Revelation 11 and 33. Romans. 11 and 33. Romans 11 and 33. Pay attention, little sis. It's important. It's important. It's important. Give me that. Hurry up. Let me get that. Romans 11 33. Romans chapter 11, verse 33. Bring it up. Oh, the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom. Say, oh, the depth of the riches. Remember he said, but we are rich. He's about to tell us how. Read. Oh, the depth of the riches, both of wisdom. Both of what? Wisdom and knowledge. And knowledge. Wisdom and knowledge is how we're rich. But what wisdom and knowledge? What is the wisdom and knowledge that we're rich for? Is it uh, having degrees or going to college? What is it? What is it? What is it? What's the what's the wisdom and knowledge that makes us rich? Our brain. Okay, uh, I see where you're going with it. But let's go into the scriptures about it. Let's let's see what the Bible say. Watch this. Malachi chapter two verse seven. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. The priest's lips should keep knowledge. Meaning your pastors should keep knowledge. Remember that word knowledge. Pay attention to that. Read. And they shall seek the law. They shall seek the what out of his lips? Seek the law at his mouth. So the laws of God is the knowledge that we're rich for. Give me, give me the support in scripture for that. Give me that in Psalms 147, 19, and 20. Real quick. Listen to this. I'm trying to string this together. I'm going to go back to my point in a second. I'm trying to get this for you so you can understand why we are rich. 
Watch this, read that. Psalms chapter 147, verse 19. He showed his word unto Jacob, uh -huh. his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. So Israel is the who he showed his laws, statutes, and judgments to. Read. He has not done so with any nation. He has not gave his laws, statutes, and commandments to any other nation. Whether it be a so-called white man, a so-called Arab man, a so-called Kurdistanian man, whatever man. He gave it to the so-called blessed Hispanics and Native Americans. That's right. We are the real Jews. Right. We are the Jews of God. The people over there, they stole that land. That's, That's right. not their land. That's our land. Right. And guess what? When Christ returns, we're going to get it back. That's right. We're going to get it back. Now, let's go back to Revelations, where we can prove that them fake Jews over there are truly fake. Let's read that. Watch this. Revelation 2, verse 9. Read. I know thy works and tribulation read. and poverty, read. but thou art rich. We rich because we, because what? Why are we rich? Because of the knowledge. Because of the knowledge. And what's the knowledge? Start with the L. The... The laws. The laws of God. The commandments of God. That's what makes us rich, having that. Read. But thou art rich, and I know the best of me. He knows the lies. Read. Of them which say they are Jews. Today's time, who says that they're Jews? Who says that they're Jews today? Can you tell me that? Who claims to be Jews today? The, the European. The so-called European man, right? Who's really from Russia. Okay. He's from Russia. He's not from our land. We, we say they are Jews. And what? And are not. Wait a minute. They are the Jews, right? And are not. But the other movies say that they're the Jews. We say they are Jews and are not. They not the real Jews. That's right. They not read. But are the synagogue of Satan. They're the church of Satan himself. That's right. That's what them fake Jews are. Right. The Church of Satan. That's what they are. They run the music industry, right? Yeah. What's the underlying tone of the music industry? Illuminati, Satan. They run the, the movie industry, right? Yeah. What's the underlying tone of that? Satan, yeah. devil. It's true. Read that part again. Just so they can understand it. Read. We say they are Jews and are not. What are they? But are the synagogue of Satan. The synagogue of Satan. That's what they are. There never was the real Jews. The That's real right. Jews would do what? Go into slavery on slave ships. Right. Let's get the evidence for that. Give me that Deuteronomy 28th chapter. Why? Why is it important to be a Jew? Because that's God's chosen people. And that's the only people that's going to get the kingdom of heaven. That's right. The only people. If I was going to be any people on this planet, it's going to be a Jew. Right. It's going to be an Israelite. Right. That's what I want to be. And that's what I am, according to the scriptures. We've been lied to, sis. Understand that. You, you special. Better believe that. Give me that Deuteronomy 7. Hold what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. You special. We special. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, who they call minorities, which are the majority of the earth. Right. Understand that. We the majority. You understand that? That's why on every map they make Europe big. It's small. It's one of the smallest continents on the planet. Right. Africa is the biggest one. Right. Which is, you can find Jerusalem. Jerusalem is in the Africa. There ain't no Middle East. That's they came up with that term. It's in Africa. Right. That's where it's at. Right. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. Read. For God are the holy people. God called the Israelites a holy people, meaning a separate people. We're supposed to be to ourselves. We're not supposed to be going into uh, celebrating the holidays of the wicked. Right, right. We're not supposed to be celebrating wicked Christmas and Halloween and right. Thanksgiving. Right. All that is of the devil. Right. And all of it is pagan. Right. It's coming from a pagan, pagan uh, background. Babylon, Babylonian customs, Roman, Greek customs. That's all that stuff. We don't celebrate that. That's what got us in trouble in the first place, following them. We the chosen. We live by certain standards that the other nations hate. They hate our standards. That's why they made gay marriage legal. Everything that the Bible teaches, they teach against it. They're trying to take the Bible out of the schools. Why? Because the truth of the Bible is coming out. It's coming out that we the chosen of God. We've been afflicted and we've been oppressed. We the ones who need to be saved. Not them, they living in heaven. We living in hell. Being in captivity and servitude is hell. Understand that. We're not supposed to make marriages with them. We're not supposed to do nothing with them. With no other nation. If they ain't black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, we don't deal with them. That's right. 
as far as marriage. Now you can make friends with a man and me in business and all that stuff, that's fine. But as far as marriage and customs with, that's our people. We deal with us and only us. Understand that. Now, now read that part again, seven and six again. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. The Lord thy God have chosen thee. God chose you. Why? To be a special people. He chose a people to be special. That's right. The church don't teach that. He chose one people to be special. Read. Unto himself. Uh -huh. Above. Below. Above. Equal to. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. You can't argue with the facts. You can't argue with the truth. There's a people better than everybody else, than every other people. It exists. There's a top and there's a bottom. It exists. There's no equality on this earth. There's no such thing. Stop re trying, to, trying to get it. I don't want equality. I want to be on top. I want to rule. I don't want to be equal with no other nation. I want me and mine to be make the laws, That's to right. govern the people. I want me and mine yeah. to rule this earth. Bring it out. I'm tired of being ruled. I'm tired of having to work a nine to five and yeah. still struggle to pay my bills. Yeah. Right. You see what I'm saying? That's under this wicked nation that we living under. Yeah. And guess why it happened? Because of us. That's right. Give me that in Deuteronomy 28 and verse one. 28 and one, watch this. Deuteronomy 28 verse 1 And it shall come to pass 28 15 Let's jump straight to the point Verse 15 But It shall come to pass If thou wilt not hearken Unto the voice of the Lord thy God uh -huh. To observe to do all his commandments And his statutes Which I command thee this day So God said if you will not keep his commandments And put it in simple terms Read There are all these curses All these what? There are all these curses What is a curse? Us uh Yes, you're right. The curse is the opposite of a blessing. Bad things is going to happen. That's what a curse is. We are cursed people. Yes, you would think, like, okay, we so talented. We athletic. We can sing. We smart. We this, we that. But why are we still on the bottom? Because we were cursed. Because we are cursed. Right. Till this day, we still curse as a people. Okay. Read. Why? Why are we cursed? Because we didn't follow the commandments. Because we didn't follow the commandments. Right. That's why we curse. Let me get one of the one of the biggest curses. Let me show you what the curses were put in this book to do. Give me verse 45. Watch this. Verse 45. Moreover, all these curses, subject matter, all these curses, pay attention, shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee uh -huh. and overtake thee Correct. till thou be destroyed. So the curses are going to be on us until we are destroyed, right? Which we are today, but read on. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God right. to keep his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes which he commanded thee. So we cursed because we didn't keep his commandments. We'll read on. And they and the curses shall what? Shall be upon thee for a sign. The curses was going to be upon the chosen children of God for a sign. That's Why it. is that? Give me, hold that. Give me uh, Jeremiah 17 and 4. Hold that. Why, why would the Most High need to put these curses on us to be a sign? Because a sign, what a sign does is identify something. Uh -huh. It identifies that that's a McDonald's. Yeah. So the sign is going to identify who the chosen children of God would be at the end times. Because don't nobody know for some reason. Right? Watch this. Jeremiah 17 verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy inheritance. God said we was going to cease to be a people. We was going to discontinue from our heritage. We don't know what laws we kept. We don't know what language we spoke before slavery. We don't know none of that. God himself said that that was going to happen. Right. So if that happened, if don't know, if don't the Israelites know who they are, we're going to need signs to show us who we are. Right. Thus the Most High put the curses in here as a sign to show who the Israelites would be today. You understand that? Because don't nobody know. People think the Israelites is gone. No, they're not gone. They've been here the whole time struggling and suffering under these curses. Now let's get some of these curses. Read verse 32. Watch this. Verse 32. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 32. Bring it up. Thy sons and thy daughters. Thy what? Thy sons and thy daughters. Thy daughters. Uh-oh. Read. Shall be given unto another people. Shall be what? Shall be given unto another people. When did this happen? 
When were the sons and daughters snatched from their parents and given to somebody else? Slavery. During slavery, right? Uh, so let me ask you a question. The scriptures say, uh, spare the rise, spare the child, in a sense. It says, if you love your, your kids, you're going to beat them, right? So if you beat your kid, a lot of times what happens? It's a certain government agency that, in, that intervenes. Yeah. And it's CPS. Yeah. And what can they do? Come and take your kids. And what can you do? Nothing. Read. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. You're going to cry, read. And there shall be no might in thy hand. There's no might in your hand to get your kids back. Oh, the white people, they got lawyers. They got all access to all type of stuff to get theirs back. Us, we ain't getting them back. They gone. That's right. They gone. They was gone in slavery, they gone today. I know a couple cases of the day where uh, kids was taken. Yeah. Oh yeah, I know the day. Oh, I was taken. I was you see that? Care you see that? Yeah, you, you a victim of the curses. Yeah. The curses gotta hit you hard now. This is, pertains to you. These curses are signs. So if this ain't happening to the white, Arab, Chinese, Japanese man, who was happening to? Us. Yeah. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Yeah. It's happening to us. Read, read verse uh, 48. Verse 48, therefore shall they serve thy enemies. So because we ain't keep God's law, statutes, and commandments, we're going to serve our enemies. Right. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.